What's up, up campus? I hope that you guys are still fired up tonight. You know, Ooh. if there's anything about campus disciples, they are just so fired up. We are actually fired up just being in the fellowship, just being together, just that that really uh, fires us all up. We're just really encouraged. But what's really amazing about just being together is being fruitful together, working together to be fruitful. That's our charge for tonight. You know, as disciples, as campus disciples, we just really have to ha uh, love to hang around with each other, enjoying the fellowship. But sometimes fellowship can actually over overthrow our love for the people that we're trying to reach out to. And that's, that's disgusting. You know, when we're reaching out to someone, we want to pull them over to our fellowship. But then when, they're the, when they are there, they feel like left out. They don't understand what we're doing. Where in fact, as a disciple, we should make it all about God and about the loss that we're helping yeah. to recognize God. You know, Paul understood about this. And Paul made a point that when we are working together, it glorifies God. Earlier, uh, our sister Roma right here just mentioned the scripture. Let's go back in 1 Corinthians 3. The Bible says right here in verse 6, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who water is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will be each rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building you know it's really amazing how paul had this in mind that he understood that we are all working together somebody plants somebody waters it but in the end paul paul, uh, paul understood that god makes it grow i have two points for us tonight first is that for us to be fruitful we need to work together working together working with your brother if you're a brother working with a sister if you're a sister working with your bible talk you know one of the things that we can do when we reach out to someone that we're studying the bible with is really bring them to the family. Bring yeah. them to our family. Let's what? spend time together. Let's have a fun time, family times together. I remember studying the Bible with a brother before, and I told him, hey, let's have a spend time. And then he came to, to our uh, meeting place, bringing only a Bible with him. He's like, so what are we going to do now? Where are we going to study the Bible? I said, no, we're going to have fun. We're going to uh, spend time with each other. I want to know you. We want to know you. And we, we want you to know us as well. And he was surprised. He's like, what? We're not going to study the Bible. I thought all the time when we're going to meet, we're going to study the Bible. So we should make a culture that what we're bringing into them into is not a religion, but God's family. The Bible tells us right here that we have one purpose. The planter or the waterer, whatever you do uh, when you study the Bible, we have one purpose, and that is to glorify God by bringing fruits to God. And that we are, just like what Paul mentioned right here, co-workers in God's service. I'll give you my wife to share more. Yes. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sisters. One thing that I really wanted to share is what destroys the teamwork. What destroys the family. It's this unity. And where does this unity come from? It's from selfishness. So selfishness is when you focus on yourself and your emotion, your wants, your needs. Like, oh, I don't feel love. I don't feel special. I, 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 I. You'll never be able to give the same amount of energy, love, and sacrifice that everyone in the Bible talk gives if you focus on yourself. The goal is to glorify God by bringing fruit in the family. And if our selfishness will hinder that goal, better start repenting, sisters, or God will cut us from the tree, as the Bible says in John 15, that those who don't bear fruit, he cuts and throw into the fire. So I just wanted to share way back when I was um, not a disciple yet, um, what really impacted me is the family and the Bible talk. They would just bring me to a place. We're going to eat bentelog. We're going to spend time. I was just so blown away by how they just uh, love each other. Everyone is interested to know me. Everyone was so giving. Everyone was just loving. And I think that's the goal. Give yourself to the team and the team will work. Remember, everyone wants to be part of a Bible talk where they feel 
they belong and that they are special. So I just want to encourage everyone, let's not be selfish. Let's be giving. Giving is bringing souls to God and teamwork makes the dream of God work. Amen. So that's one thing, working together as a family in the Bible talk. The second part is this. Paul also mentioned that only God makes things, uh, things grow. So we must understand that as we work together, we ought to work with God as well. He's our number one team player. He's right there cheering for us, helping us through all these times, wanting us to bear fruit as well. So if you want to work together as a family in a Bible talk, God also wants to work with us. And with that, to God be all the glory.